Alright, uh, push start now. Hello everybody, this is Mazer with Ben64 on our second game for Can We Beat This? We are going to do 1990s Capcom release of Little Nemo the Dream Master, trademark, uh, copywritten by TMS in 1989, and Ben just discovered that TMS was actually created to release this game. And uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, Finding Nemo, <laughs> Little Nemo, <laughs> Little Nemo has nothing to do with fish. Is, um, wow, the computer sucks at playing. Yeah, they normally do. Yeah, so anyways, this is based off an anime of the same name about a little boy who, for some strange reason, gets invited to this castle in Dreamland by a princess who hates little boys. Is that the story? No, seriously, it really is. I never saw the movie. Yeah, she, she, like, for some reason, she wants Nemo around, and then when she meets him, she's like, oh, you're a little boy, I hate you. <laughs> and he's like, look, lady, he actually says that. He's like, look, I didn't ask you to be here, and I'm stuck in my PJs in the middle of the night, and you dragged me out here for no reason? Screw you. And then he meets a cigar-smoking clown, and together they open the nightmare locker, release King Nightmare who kidnaps King Dreams and then he has to run around screaming pajama pajama while waving a magic wand. I'm not lying. So why did you watch it? It's a fantastic movie. <laughs> but no, he's like holding this magic wand. You could see him holding it in the game. Yeah. Um, and he goes pajama banana pajama pajama pajama. And that charges the wand so he could attack the Nightmare King. And the Nightmare King is like, you think pajamas will kill me? <laughs> he actually says that. Alright, um, let's start the game. Dream 1, the Mushroom Forest. So, here's Nemo. In his PJs. Throwing candy. That's your main weapon. Mm -hmm. you, you've played this before. Yeah. Okay. It's one of the few games I owned back in the day. Yeah, same here. I, I, I don't think I... No, I, I, this is my original copy from when I was a kid. This place is too dangerous for little boys. But if you've got your mind set on staying here, I should tell you a secret. Many of the creatures here will give you a... Ride if you feed them candy. <laughs> and you could ride for as long as you like. Press select to stop. Also, many doors are locked. You'll need to find keys. Sorry for the background noise. My cat's attacking a plastic bag. Oh, by the way, my name is Flip. Goodbye. That's. He didn't even walk away. He just vanished. I don't think you ever see him again in the game, but I haven't played it for. Yeah, I haven't played this since I was like. I don't know, 10, 12. Now, what I always found funny is he says you can ride them. But then you kind of just take their skin yeah. and stretch it over your body. Yeah, you see, he's like, you're poking your head out of the mouth. I mean, it looks like it's dead. Yeah, it's gone. Because when you push select, you don't see the animal come back. He just vanishes, doesn't he? Yeah. Wait, wasn't Magical Kingdom also a Capcom game? Yeah, it first was. episode. Oh, we're doing a Capcom marathon. Now. Damn it! I got hurt trying to get the med pack to prevent me from getting hurt. You see, I'm, I'm just a jerk. It's like, ah, screw you, frog! I already got my frog. Now I was reading the walkthrough for this just to remind myself how many levels there are. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh my god, you really do have to hunt for keys, don't you? Yeah. Hate that. Alright, now let's see if our theory is correct. Yeah, that animal's dead. Hi, kitty. Alright, now... Ben, I don't I'll... know if you're feeding them poison candy. I know, it's like, it's like you kind of drug them. Yeah, they just hang out there with a snot bubble or something. <laughs> You know, that's the one thing in anime I never liked, is the sleeping snot bubble. I was like, that is so foul. Especially when they have a cute girl who does it. 
Don't, don't do that. Breaking physics. Ah! Hmm. Okay, so when I was a kid, this I remember, I actually tried removing every bit of dirt. But the problem is when you go past the screen, it regenerates. So I actually did this for 20 minutes before I realized what was going on. <laughs> And, um, man, I thought there was something back here. Isn't there more that if you dig, you can find a room or something? I don't remember. I can't remember. When I, uh, had a PSP, this is one of the games I put on my PSP. I just got as far as the, uh, do you remember the train level? Ah! Stupid frog. The, the, the good animals can actually hurt you. If you touch them without uh, drugging them first, yeah, without drugging them. You know, Nemo's kind of a dick. Now, but I got as far as the train level, which at the time I thought, "Hey, this is like halfway through the game," and then I realized it was only level two or three. I was like, "Oh, damn it!" All right, this is one of my favorite animals. Yeah. Yeah, you put him in like a food coma. Okay, that one's you're actually riding. Yeah, that one, that one. But look at him, he's drugged. He's like a stoner face. All right, huzzah. We beat level one. 